Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, I'd like to talk about adding guest members to your project plan. And what do I mean by a guest member? Well, those would be people who are outside of your organization. So for example, maybe I'm working with a consultant on some of these tasks and I need that consultant to be able to see the tasks on the plan and have limited access to look at files and update tasks. Well, we can definitely add people outside of our organization. The catch here is that we don't actually do it in Planner. We need to add them into the Microsoft 365 group, first of all. If you recall, when we created this plan, a Microsoft 365 group was automatically created in Outlook. And then we use that group information to add this plan to Microsoft Teams. And just as a side note here, now that we have this plan added to Teams, notice we have an additional button at the top, which allows us to open this plan directly in Microsoft Teams. So don't forget about that little option up there. So let's go back to talking about adding external people. What we need to do here is where we have board, charts and schedule, we need to click these three dots and we're going to jump directly to members. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to open up the people area of Outlook and it's taking me directly to my group. And from here, I can see all of the current members of this 365 group. So this is where I need to come to add somebody into this project plan. All I need to do here is click on the add members button on the right hand side. And once again, notice that if members are part of your organization, they will pop up in the list below. But if we want to add somebody external, then we need to type in their full email address. And what you'll also notice on the left hand side here is that we have some more information about who is considered to be a guest. So it says guests are people from outside your organization. Guests will get all email messages sent to the group in their inbox and can collaborate on files in the group. So that sounds like exactly what I want to do. So I'm just going to add myself using one of my other email addresses. And this is actually a Gmail account. So let's type it in. And you can see as soon as I do that, it comes up with guest underneath. So let's select it. It tells me that I'm adding a guest to this group and they'll have limited access to group resources. That's absolutely fine. All I need to do here is click on the add button. I can see that one member has been added successfully so we can close this down and notice that this doesn't update automatically. So what I'm going to do is just refresh my browser keyboard shortcut control R if you're using Edge. And now if I take a look at all of the members, I should see right at the bottom, there is the guest that I've added. So now that they've been added into the Microsoft 365 group, we should just have to refresh our browser in Planner in order to see that person. So I'm going to close down this tab and I'm just going to click where it says plus four to make sure that that person isn't already there, which they're not. So let's refresh the browser to get this to update. Now, if we click the plus, there they are. There is the guest added at the bottom of the list. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.